As Dallas Cowboys rookie wide receiver and 2020 first round pick CD Lamb had a good but not great rookie season and a lot of that can be attributed to the unfortunate injury of Dak Prescott as after Dak went down everybody on the Cowboys roster especially on the offensive side of the ball was not the same and the production clearly shows. As in CD's first five games as in before Dak got injured he was on pace for a 93 catch 1386 yard rookie season which would have placed him second all time in terms of receiving yards production behind only Justin Jefferson who finished 2020 with 1400 yards and is now the all-time rookie receiving records yard leader. Now after Dak got injured the results were much different for not only CD's production but for the results of the Cowboys team as well as they finished 6 and 10 and CD from the point Dak got injured had just 45 catches for 500 yards which would have put him on pace for a 65 catch 730 yard rookie season so to say the production was down after Dak got injured would well it would be an understatement and in today's video we are going to break down and discuss why cd lamb will be a star in 2021 and beyond and why he is on pace to become the next great receiver in dallas cowboys history so before we dive into all of that please like the video and subscribe to the channel as each only take a second to do and it would be very much appreciated now let's begin and the first play we are going to really break down is a play that was supposed to be a broken play at worst for the Giants that ended up being an over 30 yard play. As you'll see by the highlight, Kyler Fackrell lines up way offside. So immediately everyone on the defensive side of the ball, especially at the line, they're kind of just like, you know, like, are we playing this? Are we going to play this? And eventually the play, as you can guess with given that it is a CD Lamb highlight reel and a CD Lamb film breakdown. Yes, the play gets played. CD makes a very tough catch, draws an unnecessary roughness penalty, makes an 18-yard play, and then gets 15 more for the flag. Now, the reason I like this play is CD knows this ball. Dak lost it way up in the air. This is essentially a hospital ball. A hospital ball means that a receiver is going to have to jump up and absolutely get drilled and try and hang on in the process. And in a broken play, that is best what can be described this play as. So CD immediately goes up knowing he's going to take contact takes the contact through the play, makes the play, and comes down with the catch. And a receiver comparison that I absolutely loved in the draft process for C.D. Lamb was DeAndre Hopkins, formerly of the Texans, now of the Cardinals. And the reason I loved this comparison was because DeAndre makes similar plays to this. These tough, contested catches where neither DeAndre or C.D., let's be honest, neither one of them are going to end up on a Tyreek Hill uh, play where they're just going to run by everybody and blaze everybody and just see ya, okay, bye, 4 3 40. That's not going to happen in either one of their games, and that is completely fine, as DeAndre has shown that given he is one of the most productive receivers over the past decade, and I do think CD Lamb will soon be on that trajectory. Now, this next play also ironically has an unnecessary roughness penalty, and you'll see CD right here against Darnay Holmes, another rookie, and Darnay honestly had a very good rookie year, and corners obviously go through a lot of rookie struggles, but what you'll see CD do here is a very good veteran move. As the play starts, you'll see CD do what you call a karaoke step or a rocker step. He'll have Darnay really close to him, and then what he does is he puts his right foot behind his left foot to get maximum drive into his route, and then CD has the creates the separation from this karaoke step makes the catch high points the football and then obviously you don't want this to happen if you're a Cowboys fan but he gets absolutely drilled at the end of this play hangs on and makes a very very tough catch so obviously we're going to break this down slowly and honestly Darnay played this at the start very good CD hit him with a the, like we said the rocker step and then gets the maximum separation to create that separation needed to be able to make this play high points the football and then again gets drilled so here it is slow. The reason I like this play so much is because it shows what a veteran player does and obviously receivers have a lot of success doing a lot of different things as players like Tyreek Hill, Adam Thielen, DK Metcalf, Devontae Adams, and Keenan Allen all win and all are good receivers doing significantly different things and this right here is a veteran move by CD to say the least and it's a big reason why I love his game because for him to at 21 years old that's what he played at last year to be able to create this type of separation and to be able to hang on to these types of footballs I mean if it's even if it's in week five or week six that will translate to big game big time moments when the Cowboys need him to later in the year and if they do make a deep playoff run CD will be a guy that Dak can say you know what this guy time and time again has bailed me out he not necessarily bailed out but made absolutely tough catches that not many receivers in the league generally can and I will trust him with the game on the line and ultimately with the Cowboys season on the line if it comes to that 
So this next play we are going to show is from much later in the season, and this is C.D. Lamb in one-on-one -on -one man coverage against corner Kawan Williams, and Kawan is a veteran corner, and he saw that play against Darnay Holmes, as right here he is in outside leverage, which this means Kawan is closer towards the sideline, so what he wants to do is funnel C.D. inside. So basically if C.D. runs a slant right here, these are free yards, because Kawan is essentially giving that to him. That's what, that, that's what outside leverage means. So Kawan is taking away the outside and that's what the coverage is but CD immediately breaks inside then breaks back out and as you'll see he kind of shoves his arm right at Kawan which I guess in theory could be pass interference but it was obviously not called pass interference because it was so subtle that CD made it look like a part of his route and by the way he's not the only receiver that does these types of things to get create separation that is the name of the game is creating separation to catch passes to win games for the football team and ultimately for the benefit of the players make money so what CD does right here knowing the corner has outside leverage he breaks in cuts back out creates the separation for andy to throw it to him if he were to throw to him which he obviously as you see does not but the separation was created by cd having knowing the corner was an outside leverage from the get-go now, one thing C.D. Lamb will have to work on over the course of the 2021 season, and ultimately the rest of his career, is the drops. He had 9 drops in 2020, which 9 drops in a 16-game season averages out to about 1 every 2 games, or 1.5 or so to be exact. But anyways, yes, so 9 drops in over the course of a season is something he needs to work on. As you see here, this is just a flat-out drop. Had he caught this, he would have been a lot closer to 1,000 yards, and ultimately could have started his career off like the Mike Evans 7 straight one thousand yard years with 17 game seasons now being the normal i do think cd lamb will be a continuous i mean not only a thousand but if Dak is healthy i do think cd will be a regular 1200 plus yard receiver because he is good he creates separation he's a big bodied receiver he's a natural pass catcher and i realize i'm saying that as i'm bringing up the drops but i do think that is something that will lessen over the course of time as the chemistry between him and Dak will only grow from here on out granted it was good last year during their time as CD was already on pace for a nearly 1400 yard year in his rookie season so I don't think chemistry with Dak is something they will have to reestablish. that is something that I do think is already there and Michael Gallup will unfortunately get the short end of the stick between him Cooper and of course CD Lamb the subject of today's video but I do think that Lamb will be a continuous 1200 yard receiver and that drops is something he's just going to have to spend an extra 10 minutes a day on the jugs machine just to ensure that that does not happen over the course of the rest of of time one thing that i don't think will happen but it could i'm just going to bring it up is if drops continuously get in his head now obviously i'm making a video on saying cd lamb is going to be a one of the best receivers of the future so obviously you guys know that i don't think that will happen but if drops become regular with him then it's going to be more of like hey cd don't drop this pass and you're going to see signs in the stands and everything of that nature obviously i don't think that's going to happen but that is something to note and i did want to bring that up in today's video now back to the good of cd lamb and the final play we are going to break down and then just some generics at the end here this is a blitz five man pressure man coverage here from the steelers the circles is covering circles square covering squares rectangles you get it right linebacker robert spillane is on cd lamb and the reason why we are showing this is because CD has, or Robert Spillane here has, the inside leverage. So opposite of what Kawan Williams for the 49ers had in the previous video that we showed. And what CD does right here is he uses it to his advantage. He kind of just sets him up, just gets the ball. Garrett Gilbert right there after Dak was injured, of course, throws it to him. And it is just taking what the defense gives. And it was a first down catch. And it was exactly what the doctor ordered in that situation. And what I do want to say is when we do these film breakdowns is not every player needs to have a five catch 195 yard performance every single week or they're a bust because that is setting yourselves up for some very lofty expectations and you're setting yourself up to fail for that said player so a lot of the time in film breakdowns it is little things like these the little tricks of the trade that helps guys win and that helps them stick around for a while and quite honestly as we wrap up today's video I do want to say there were some other clips we could have certainly used. Uh, one, CD had a touchdown in the Steelers game and a receiver kind of, it wasn't a pick route, it was more of a concept play where he used Joe Hayden, he baited Joe Hayden to take because Joe Hayden had the corner route 
and CD ended up getting a one-on-one -on -one situation with TJ Watt in coverage, which ended in a touchdown, as you heard. And of course, then the Vikings play, the infamous catch that he had against the Minnesota Vikings. I did not use that, honestly, because I thought there would be copyright issues with that. Anyways, that is uh, what I wanted to say about that. CD is a heck of a receiver, and as you guys can see by the title, I do think he is a superstar in the making, and I would be surprised if CD Lamb does not have an 85 catch, 1200 yard, 8 touchdown year in 2021. Now, anyways, that's all I'm going to have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you're still watching, I hope this is a video that you come back to in September or October after CD has a 9 catch, 130 yard game, and you're like, dang, like this guy knew what he was talking about, and that's what I hope to have because I do think CD is going to be a superstar and that is uh I'm gonna leave it at that so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you ever have a video suggestion for a film breakdown please let me know and comment below and until next time have a great day love you guys deuces peace